This video presentation deals with the difference equation associated with this fairly complicated looking system that we have here. So in the previous video demonstration we looked at how to determine the output of this system um, for a given input. So we went through that fairly slowly. Uh, in this one we just want to quick, quickly uh, write out the difference equation associated with this system. Uh, so it's very important that you're able to switch between the signal flow diagram view and the difference equation and also go the other way around. So you should be able to go from the difference equation to the signal flow diagram as well. And I might go through a few examples later on in that. Uh, but for the moment let's write out the difference equation. So the output, let's see, the output y of n. So in my difference equation the output is always on the left hand side of the difference equation. So my output is y of n by convention. And the output is the sum of, well, it's the sum of, so that's my output line. It's the sum of one, two, three, four different uh, values. Uh, let's see, that's this first value here is, is, is the input x of n, which is multiplied by 2. So in general form, we can write that as 2 times x of n. So the output is equal to, well, that's 2 times x of n anyway, added with something. Okay. Now let's take a look at this other branch that's going into the adder. Um, and the reason why I'm looking at the adder is because the output is directly connected to the adder. Um, so this, this branch here is, well it's the input, that's delayed by 1. So it's the delayed version of the input and it's delayed by 1. And we normally represent well, the way we represent a delay by 1 is x of n minus 1. So the output is then 2 times x of n plus, well, it's plus x of n minus 1. And it's added up, it's, there's all two other things that it's added to. We've looked at, at these two branches. Let's look at this third branch. Well, the first thing is this part of the branch would be, well, this part of the branch would be the input delayed by 2 because the input has been passed through this delay and then through this delay. So that, at that stage there it's x of n minus 2. Well, it's very small writing but x of n minus 2. And this part here would be, well, it'll be minus 2 times x of n minus 2. I won't write it in, it's just getting a little bit messy. So that'll be plus, it's been added with, plus minus 2 times x of n minus 2. The x of n minus 2 represents the input delayed by two samples. And that's going to be added with, well, it's going to be added with the fourth branch here is 0 0.5 times something. And it's going to be 0 0.5 times the output delayed by 1. So it's going to be plus. 0 0.5 times the output delayed by 1, which will be written mathematically as y of n minus 1. So this here is the difference equation that represents this system. And again, if you can follow that difference equation determination uh, for this system, you should be able to work it out for any, any system really. Um, but now uh, we can work out the output using by solving the difference equation. So let's maybe do that for a couple of examples. So let's work out, say, substitute n for 0. So we'll substitute this n here for 0. So y of 0, which is my first output, would be 2 times x of, well, n again is 0. So x of 0 plus x of 0 minus 1 will be minus 1 plus um, well, let's get rid of that plus. We can write that as minus 2 times x of minus 2 plus 0 0.5 times y of minus 1. Okay, so our first output is going to be equal to this equation. Now, I've noticed I haven't actually given the input values. Well, let's use the same input values as before. Um, I think it was 2, 4, 8 and 6. So x is 0 is this value of 2. So the output is going to be equal to 2 times by 2 plus 
x of 1, minus 1, well it isn't explicitly defined. We have here def explicitly defined x0, this will be x bracket 1, x square bracket 2, and x square bracket 3. So they're the only ones that are explicitly defined. All other values of x are assumed to be 0. So all these values, this here is assumed to be 0, and this value here is assumed to be 0. Also we don't know what the previous output was, so this is also assumed to be 0. So that's going to be added to 0, which is going to be equal to 4. Um, let's look at the next output. I will just do the one more of these because it's basic substitution. Um, so x of 1 will be equal to 2 times x, or sorry, y of 1 will be equal to 2 times x of 1. Again, we're substituting n for 1 in this case, so in this case we're going to substitute for n equal to 1 plus x of 0, because n minus 1 is equal to 0, plus, sorry, making that mistake again, minus 2 times x of minus 1, which again is going to be 0 because it's not defined, plus 0 0.5 times y of, well n again is, we're substituting n for 1 in this case, so that's going to be, uh, sorry, 0 0.5 times by y0, sorry, y of 0. So working that out, it's 2 times x of 1, the value of 4 is x of 1, so it's 2 times 4 plus x of 0, which is a value of 2, uh, minus 0, plus 0 0.5 times y of 0, and y of 0, we worked it out here, there's y of 0, um, so two, 0 0.5 times, that's 2. So that's equal to 2 plus 2 uh, plus 8, which is equal to um, 12. Okay, so that should be the same as um, solving that, looking at the signal flow diagram. And you could go through the difference equation for different values of n and you should be able to determine the output using the difference equation method. Okay, so thank you for your attention. I'll see you in the next presentation.